A student is experimenting with releasing a ball from the top of a ramp. She can measure the height of the ramp, so that's one variable, the time taken for the ball to reach the end of the ramp, the mass of the ball, the roughness of the material covering the surface. All right, if she wants to investigate the, so those were our four variables. Then it says if she wants to investigate how the time taken for the ball to reach the end of the ramp is affected by the height of the ramp, what independent, dependent, and control variables should she use? All right, so those last two that I put down, the height and the time, those are going to be our independent and dependent variables because that's the relationship that we're studying. So then we have to say, okay, the independent one is the one that the researcher can set and the dependent variable is the one that she's going to record. So if we think about this, she can vary the height and later she can record the time. But it would be really uh, impossible to do that, to choose the time and then measure the height later. So she's going to, again, she's going to try this experiment on different ramps with different heights and each time she's going to record the time. So that means the independent variable, the one that she is setting first is the height and the one that she's recording later is the time. The control variables are going to be the things that she keeps constant. If she wants to see how the height affects the time, she needs to keep everything else in her experiment the same. So that means she should keep the mass and the roughness the same as she tries different heights and measures the times to get the relationship.